It's Joe Glines from the Automator. And the other day in the hero group, uh, Isaias and I were talking through the benefits of XML versus JSON, and especially with tree views with AutoHotKey. And it reminded me of a video I did with Maestri a while back. Uh, the video was, uh, again, kind of on the fly. He was just demonstrating some stuff, but it's a really good example. I'll put a link up to the his XML class that he uses. But um, XPath is incredibly powerful, and it mirrors really well with tree views. So if you're using tree views in AutoHotKey, this might be something you want to consider because it helps you manage it much easier and stuff and, and what to work on. But hope you enjoy the video. If you learned something in it, like it. This is, again, from several years ago, but um, just thought I'd share it here to as a reminder of the XML isn't dead, and it should be considered something as option, depending on the type of data you have. Cheers. One equals... Um... Uh, stir split uh, this is information and then oops, we'll split it by space okay so within here if I wanted to say okay what position is is in or something like that or let's see how uh, no I'm actually trying to think of a better well okay yeah this this will work so if I wanted to know what position information was in, yeah. I would have to for loop through the whole loop to get to it. So A, B, O, B, J. So if B equals information, yeah, lowercase, uh, uh, message box A, which will give you the, the, uh, the index of it. So that'll tell you three. So one of the things, especially like if I'm, if I'm looping over big data or big amounts of data and I know there's a key that I want to keep track of. And if I see that key again, I just like um, discount the, uh, the information or whatever. So, but let's go ahead and say OBJ colon equals. Um, so this will be information three. Uh, this one is to. So those are the positions where it was. So the information can easily be gotten rather than using this and for looping through it, just yeah, yeah. BGA dot information right. gives you. So you know three right. rather than having to loop through. Right. And it doesn't really save a ton of time, but if you're pushing in like a meg of data or something that's key value paired and you're like okay well let's loop through on the 7,000th iteration <laughs> yeah. you're looping through 7,000 different things to see if there's a duplicate within the information Yeah, when you can take and push the information that you want to check for duplicates into the key and set the value to something like one I do that constantly so that you know, okay, hey, I'm yeah. I'm looping through this data. Yeah, right. this is already in here. Discount. Right. Oh yeah, I I mentioned that to Ryan. Um, that that it's great for storing those as the key because you can easily detect if it's already in there and um, dedupe things that way. But and right. access it however you know the value however you want. Yeah. Right, and it's um one of the things I do like with what I'm doing with the um the uh, application for alliance um, do, do, do um, populate reports there we go so I come in here and I obviously create the, or um, go through the database get the information that I want so right here what I'm doing is I'm saying all right obj report vehicle so if if there is not something in obj dot report vehicle and I I instantiate obj up here, right. so it's just a blank object and I normally would call it duplicate or something like that, but for whatever reason I called it obj. Yeah. Usually it would be dup for okay. duplicate or whatever. So I'll check. Okay, is obj dot report vehicle a thing? If it isn't, then it comes in here and it creates a uh, a parent tree view item so that I have a parent to work on and everything else let's go ahead and where was that 
Sorry, brain here, the vehicle from reports. Okay. So, oh, that's right. I don't have any reports. Crap. I can't properly display it. But each one of the reports in here is an ID of the report, the date when the report was done, employee who submitted the report, and the vehicle number which they did the report on. So when I put it into a tree view, I want to know I'm sorting it by vehicle. So that's what so if there's 20 reports on that one vehicle, if you don't check to see if that that um, that parent node has been created, uh-huh. you're going to have the vehicle number 20, 30, 40 times, depending right. on how many reports there are. Right. But if you push it into an object, because what I do is right. then right that, after that. Everything under it, yeah. Right. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, so let's store in the object the, uh, the tree view value that was returned from creating that uh, parent node, then every time you need to use it later on for anything that goes beneath it, you can access that information right there. Help me understand though, but the, the tree view value was, that's the row in the tree view or that's literally the data? Well, no, the, the tree view, um, a tree view assigns an HWND to each item in that tree view. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. I don't- right. So there's a lot of stuff you can actually do. You can you can query the tree view. Um, you can send it some send it a message that you can get like where it is in relationship to the the current position of the window, and get the actual x y coordinates, how uh, where it's at, the width, the height, hmm. everything of that instance within the tree view. And each each item not even row it's each item you said is right well there's no technically rows oh. for tree views they're weird okay yeah because um we gotta start making little mini series of you know covering some of this gooey stuff that you've done because it is it's a, it's amazing how well you know it and can explain it yeah so and let's go ahead and if they knew how easy it was yeah, it's really not bad. Okay, so we're going to put this in there. TV colon equals this, and then uh, return escape. Excellent. Return. Okay, so you'll know. Okay, so I should probably increase the size of the font too. Uh, da, 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 GUI. Oops. Font size 15, sure. Okay, so now I've got a root item it's called this all right so now if you message box tv it'll tell you okay this oh here yeah. this is associated with this number yeah so that's if i want to i'm sorry that's the hwnd it, it's kind of like an hwnd i don't know if it's a true hwnd actually it might be because yeah when you send messages to it you send it to that address uh-huh. okay so it is a window handle of the sorts so let's say you want to take and put something under that tree view in a, uh, a child branch. So you do TV add um, under comma. And then this is the parent item ID. So that would be TV. Uh-huh. That's what yeah, we return right. from there. And then we'll do, um, well, not focus, but at least viz to show it. So now we've got something under it because we told it where the parent was. Yeah, that was so easy. Yeah, there's hardly anything to it. And you can build all sorts of stuff. And when you do this with XML, it is so amazingly simple Mm -hmm. because it's built like a tree view. Right, yeah. Yeah, the structure is there. Yeah, everything. And what's fun is you start building the tree view on it all right, let me I can include XML XX colon equals new XML stuff uh, XX dots add. So let's go, oops, parent colon equals stuff. And then, oh, I guess I should recreate it the same way, huh? 
this and then xx dot under oops oh yeah i gotta oh, refresh code explorer resize uh, let's just theme change the theme here real quick uh, but, but, uh, come on i know you can do, oh no you guess you couldn't <laughs> uh yeah still not big enough let's go ahead a little bit bigger apparently i'm not clicking right there we go okay so xx under oh one moment so include xml oh right Studio doesn't work very well in uh, um, uh, folder uh, XML in so. I know. Calm down. So now it should work. There we go. <laughs> okay, so we're going to say we're going to go under. I'm sorry. Wait, just, um, finish your statement earlier. It, 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 Studio doesn't work well under what? Or what were you saying? If you're, on, if you're using a untitled um, project and you start including stuff, yeah. the autocomplete will not work properly. Okay, because I've been running into that. That's why I was curious of... Like, oh, I, I just refresh it. And I'm like, okay, it works now, but I don't well, Most of the time, especially when you do includes this way, uh -huh. it just won't work until you actually save the project so it can properly build the file structure around it. Oh, huh, okay. So under this, um, oh, uh, yeah, let's give it a name. Uh, name this. Oh, yeah, wrap that up. There we go. So under parent, um, we're going to call, we'll just call this um, parent child and name is under. Okay. So now we've got a structure xx.transform. So if you do that, oh, come on, fingers. So now, oh yeah, let's do it in an actual message box. Or you know what? Let's just do this regex replace uh, haystack of uh, slash t with five spaces. There we go. It's a little more yeah. invented so you can Ready. see it. Yeah. So now you've got this and under just like i was doing here and this will be under uh, under will be under this <laughs> you gotta say that funny but so now what i would do to build this tree view out of this xml uh, let's go ahead and get rid of that because we don't need it uh, font da, da, da. okay good so you would build uh, xx dot sn for select nodes and the path we want to do the top level is stuff but we want all the descendants below that so now we've got everything selected now all we have to do is tv add uh, the name is going to be ea.name because that's the attribute of name for each one and then the parent item is going to be uh, uh, xx or, excuse me, SSN AA uh, dot parent node comma at TV dot text. Okay, so then we wrap this in AA dot set attribute TV comma that. So when we run it, oh yeah, let's get rid of that. So this is above under or the under is under this so i've built the same structure that i did before in adding it individually but i've built it up within here so let's say i want to go further sex six dot under so this is 
top. We'll call it top. So we're going under top. We're going to call this one grandchild. Doesn't matter what you call it. It's just the node name because all we're really interested in is the names. Uh, so now we're going further under. We run it. And this under, and it's even further under. So let me get rid of this. It's driving me nuts. Yeah, so you're just, you're, to summarize, you're adding to the XML, but the tree view is automatically getting fed. With the that tree structure. view is getting fed because the structure of the XML, let me, uh, yep. let me add a, do we add uh, edits X plus M with 500 height, 500. So do, 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 do uh, GUI control. I am getting the uh, actually in the edit sub command edit. Then this will be um, oh right um, xx square bracket xx oops transform. There we go. So oh let's get rid of the wrapping. Make it a little wider. We can let's go 800, sure, and then minus wrap. There we go. So there's the structure in XML format, and you'll notice that each one of these has the tree view value of what that node is. So this, this, the I guess I should have worded this differently. So the node under here is a tree or has a tree view value of one five yeah one one five eight eight four six so the reason it builds it the way that i've created it is because i've stored each tree view value in right. its node yeah, yeah no i get it right so you can that, just that go to town mapping yeah yeah so I use, if I build a tree view, nine times out of 10, what's running it is an XML. Uh-huh, because of that, yeah. Because of the structure. Right. Because I can, I can put whatever data in any which, any which manner I want. Yeah, and you don't have to worry about it. And it just future. pukes it right in. Three right. lines of code, it's done. Yeah. Well, four technically. I guess if I get rid of the parentheses then, or the... Yeah, and then it's just a matter of getting your data structured in the XML the way you want it, which is right. Yeah. And you're not keeping track of all this other crap of well, you are. I mean it's just automated though. Yeah, I'm not keeping track of it personally. The XML yeah. right. the structure that I've Stored. the time that it took to create the structure up here yeah. allows for me to just let the inherent XML properties deal with it oh the day i learned that i was like really whoa because i would build complicated well everything in studio all of these menus are built in xml that and then a subdirectories of subdirectories some of them get you know two and three and four deep same basic principle with tree views and everything else this is just a tree view that's built sideways So, yeah, XML and tree views go super hand in hand. You can do so much with it. It's ridiculous. So, yeah, it's, it's fun. <laughs>